All right, welcome to another edition of Scratch Tutorials. This one is about using random numbers. So I've set up a little deal here with uh, Scratch Cat, and it's kind of a little game where you're trying to click on Scratch Cat. If you do, then he'll make his nice little meow sound. Um, he's going to be bouncing around here, so let's see if we can do it. Boom. Oh, got him. All right. Oh, oh he's fast. Okay. So you can see how he's bouncing around here. now. It may look like he's going to random places, but he's really not. Um, he is going to the places that I've set up here. Now, I think it'd be pretty cool if he did actually go to random spots. Now, to do that, we can use the random number generator, and it will also save some coding because I won't need all of these lines here. In fact, I'm going to be able to get rid of all of that and replace it with a couple things here. So, in the operators, this is where you get a lot of your math. We have this wonderful block, pick random. It always starts with, or defaults to one to ten. So, I'm going to put that in here in the go to. So, x coordinate. Now, with the x coordinate, those are basically going left to right. The x coordinates go from 240 on the right side down to zero and then down to negative 240. So if I truly want him to go anywhere on the screen, I would want the random number to actually be from a negative 240 to a positive 240. Now you can obviously limit that if you want to um, as far as where he goes, but that way he can go literally anywhere on the screen. Now that would only be the X. So now if I ran it, he would actually be bouncing back and forth um, but he's really going to stay on the same y value um, because it's set to 3 in this case. So we're going to stop it. Now, if I truly want to go in anywhere, I'm going to, I bet you figured it out, put a random number for the y as well. Now, the y numbers go from negative 180 to a positive 180. So a little bit different there, um, just because of the uh, dimensions of the screen. So now he should be bouncing around literally anywhere, pretty much forever, and we could play this game. Got him. You can see how he is really randomly bounced around. So quick game, nice and easy, and it really shows how wonderful the random number blocks can be. Now I'm going to show you another one with Pico here. Now, actually first I'm going to hide um, the cat here. So we're going to get Pico, and well, he's going to do a guessing game, but first I'm going to put the backdrop on this one, and we're going to get him to show. All right, so here's Pico. We're going to play a guessing game where he, basically you're going to guess a number between 1 and 10. Obviously, you could change that. Um, and I've used the ask function, and if you uh, recall from one of my other videos or by doing this, um, when it ask something, it will then put that answer into a variable, which is right here called answer. I'm going to put that up. I'm going to check it just so we can see it happening. Right now, there's nothing, but there will be something when somebody puts something in here. Um, now, we want to check to see if that number is the same as a random number. So we are going to get into a forever loop here because we want it to keep checking over and over. We want it to, uh, if it's wrong, we want it to do something. If it's right, we want it to do something. So first, we need to make that random number. In fact, I don't want to put that random number in the forever loop now that I think about it because I don't want it to keep choosing a different random number. So I need to make something to save the random number. So I'm just going to make a variable. And it could be... You can call it whatever you want. Okay, I'm going to call it a random number. And I'll do it for all sprites, even though I'm only using it for this one. So the random number, I'm, I wouldn't normally have that up there because it tells the people what it's going to be. But um, I'm going to put that up there just so we can see it. And now we actually need to make it do something with that. So we are going to um, use the data. And we're going to say set random number to not zero, but we're going to use a random number block there. Pick random number one through zero. So the random number will be picked from, uh, sorry, one to 10. And then it will start the forever loop. That way it will get the random number. And technically you could have put this, we could have put this above there, but anyway, um, it'll get the random number, it'll get their number, and then it will start game. 
Now for checking, um, we're getting a little bit more into things here, but we will use some if then. So if, and this is where we could check if it is exactly the same. So we are going to say if the random number, actually I'm going to put the random number on this side, just makes sense to me. But if the answer equals random number, then we are going to say, make it nice and easy, you got it. And I'm actually going to stop the script at that point because I don't want it to keep asking about it. So I'm going to say stop. I'll just say stop this script, although that's the only script going. So we're going to stop that one. Now I'm going to do some other ifs. So if, I'm going to put two of them in here because it could be either greater than or less than and I want a different thing. I could just say wrong. Um, so if the answer is less than the random number, then we're going to say, uh, we're going to say too low, try, well, actually, I'm going to try again on another part. Um, now I'm going to do basically the same thing down here. So except for this one's going to be greater than, and we are going to say, if the answer is greater than the random number, then we're going to stay too high. All right. And then we are going to have it ask again, and it will replace the answer. It only saves one thing as this answer. So we're going to say, try again. All right, so it should only do one of these things because it, it be more than one of these as far as whether it's equal to, less than, or greater than. It's only going to do one of those. And if it's equal, it will stop script. And the other two, it will continue and go to try again. So it should go through it again. Um, it won't do a new random number. It'll do the same random number. So let's see if it works. So we're going to run it. We're going to play a guessing game. OK, guess number between 1 and 10. See, now I don't even know it yet because it's not on there. So I'm going to guess 2. And enter. OK, the random number 7 says too low. So try again. Let's say I went up to 8. And it says too high. And if I actually did 7. It should be good. You got it. It stopped the script. It's not asking again. But again, the main point of this is how cool these random numbers can be. Um, use them for moving things around. Use them for uh, guessing numbers, anything like this. So there you go. Hope you learned something.